Um, Gobi Wolf 2022 is an event where we're bringing three separate lanes together for a giant bilateral exercise. So we have an academic portion where participants exchange ideas and exchange expertise on a variety of subjects such as public health, mass medical care, search and rescue, firefighting operations, and public affairs. That's gonna be over two days where we kind of prepare ourselves for the exercise. The second two days is the tabletop exercise where the participants will face a scenario of a massive earthquake that happens here in Bayan Hangor and basically destroys the city to see how they would respond as a whole of government response. Uh, finally, while all of that is happening, we've got some folks out in the field conducting field training on medical care and triage, search and rescue, and hazardous material operations. Yeah, so it's part of the broader like US government and Department of Defense effort on Pacific disaster resiliency. So the idea behind disaster response is that we get to know each other before there's a crisis, right? So uh, a lot of what we do as a government and as a community is travel around and do these exercises with our partners to make sure that we are well connected when an actual disaster happens. Our goal is to know who we're talking to before we get here. We don't wanna show up and try to provide assistance uh, to people we've never met or organizations we don't understand. So the idea really is to understand how we work in the United States, how our foreign partners work, uh, and how Mongolia specifically works so that we can provide assistance immediately. Having these diplomatic relationships and having these uh, partnerships happen here is incredibly important, not just in disaster response, because we wanna show that we all face the same problems and we're all here to help each other, right? So I mentioned how the United States likes to talk about how we would respond to a disaster in a specific country, but we're not always the ones that are gonna be here first uh, or maybe even at all. So creating these partnerships across the region is incredibly important to share best practices, to talk about how we can provide mutual aid, and to, again, to just kind of do cross-cultural communication, get to know each other, uh, share one another's uh, norms and, and food and, and uh, you know, yeah, culture. Um, so from Mongolia, we have a litany of agencies. Uh, here in Bayan Hangor, the local governor's office is participating, as well as some of their elected officials, their local medical folks, uh, firefighters, hazmat, and um, police. From the national level, we have folks that have come in from Ulaanbaatar that are representing the Mongolian Armed Forces, uh, the National Emergency Management Agency, the National Security Council, the Ministry of Health, and the Ministry of Astronomy and Meteorological Events. So my main hope is that the participants understand how their system works and where they fit within it. I mentioned all the different agencies and ministries that we have here. They don't always focus on disaster response, but they would probably be called upon during a large-scale crisis. Uh, so having them here and seeing how NEMA works, how the Mongolian Armed Forces work, uh, is really important to see how they can contribute during a disaster. I mentioned earlier about how we like to know one another before there's a, a crisis. Uh, typically, we send our military folks overseas to respond to disasters first. Uh, and here in Mongolia, disaster response is run by a civilian organization. So the ability of those two organizations to communicate uh, with one another is really important before there's a crisis.